you're watching News 24 Live, American Fowl Breed Disease is the worst bee disease in the world and has been decimating the Western Cape bee population since it was first diagnosed in 2009. If bees are wiped out completely, the repercussions could be devastating. Greg Aberdeen and Devolt Duplessis from the Be Kind Project are with us in studio this morning. They've come up with a concept of pollinator preservation. They're going to tell us more about that. Gentlemen, thanks very much for joining us this morning. Thank you very Thank much. You. Yes. So you, I believe, just come back from a trip in the Southern Cape. Uh, Correct. Do you want to tell us a little bit more about that? Yes. And why are we experiencing a bee crisis and, and what are the knock-on effects okay, of this going to be? Greg, I'll start with you. <laughs> okay. We've just got back from Corrits Mont where we have a reserve down there, a, a, a bee sanctuary of 600 hectares. Um, we're establishing 300 colonies on the farm right now. The, the, the knock-on effect of the crisis is, is coming from an angle where it's hitting the commercial beekeepers who in turn pollinate for the farmers that produce 60% of the produce that we consume in the Western Cape. Now, with this knock-on effect, the, 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 the issue that is going on around American Fowl Brood right now is that all diagnosed hives have to be burned. Mm. That is the only cure for it. It's not a new disease. It's been around for a couple of hundred years, but it's got to a crisis level now because we don't understand how the whole concept mm. works. We've, we look to agriculture uh, um, departments, we look to the Department of Agriculture, to research councils, and they basically don't have an, an exit strategy at this stage of the game to help us look at how we can potentially protect our bees and move forward. So the bee kind concept was where we looked at the, the uh, pollinator preservation is basically we now bee breeders for beekeepers. So you're harvesting bees correct, away correct. from the Western Cape? R correct. We're away from agriculture completely. Um, we know where near, I'll probably say that the, the closest site near us is probably about 15 kilometers away um, with agriculture involved in it. Okay. But the aim is to get the, the, our indigenous bee, the Cape honeybee, back <coughs> into its environment that it's used to and that's Fainbos. Mm. So that allows the bees to become very strong, the colonies to become very strong, and we do spits from there. Okay. Devolt, what is AFB? How did it first come to South Africa? American fowl brood is a disease uh, spore that um, grows inside the, the larva. What happens is it doesn't affect um, adult bees. It purely affects the larva. So the adult bees, the nursing bees, end up cleaning the cells and carrying those, uh, those um, spores with them. The spores then get carried out into the field. And if a bee comes back or gets lost mm. and his pollen sacs are full, any hive will let him in. Or if a hive notices that a other hive is weak, mm -hmm. they go and rob all the honey, again, carrying the disease through the system. Mm -hmm. So at the, at the end of the day, it's just, it just gets progressively worse, especially yeah. if you start bringing all the hives together for pollination, and then it just becomes an epidemic. Mm -hmm. So American fowl brood was brought over to South Africa um, by cheap honey that came from China. And this honey was uh, fed to the bees to sustain them through the winter. Mm. And that's how the disease broke out in South Africa. From there, it's just gotten worse and worse and worse. Mm. So, I mean, it, it's been in the, the media quite a bit of late, Greg. Yeah. Um, and I'm sure a lot of people think like, you know, bees, you know, we've got so many of them, you know, what's the big deal? What would happen if bees were wiped out? Okay, we explain we're the bigger picture okay, to those the, people who don't okay, understand. Okay, the bigger picture of what we're looking at is this: is there are roughly sixty-five thousand hives in the Western Cape? Mm. We currently sit with fifty percent infection. Therefore, we're looking at thirty thousand of our colonies already destroyed. To put it into perspective, you take one colony or one hive, you put it in the field, it blossoms, uh, it, it, it pollinates a hundred thousand blossoms per day. Now, no human being can hand pollinate th that amount. So the knock-on effect, what we're going to see right now this coming season, is that an apple farmer, for argument's sake, that does 20,000 bins of fruit per season will probably come down to about 11 to 12,000 bins of fruit. That same apple farmer next season will become a wood, a wood seller because he's now going to realize that this is having a huge mm -hmm. knock-on effect and he's going to start working his land and getting that out in preparation to plant plants that are not pollinated by bees, which is 10% of our nutrition that we eat at the end of the day. So we're looking at wind pollination, we're looking at gravity pollination, and then that in effect in the Krabo will have an even bigger knock-on effect in the sense of all the processing plants that are up there. Mm. So 
if you take for argument's sake fruit away that is producing 15 percent of the apples that are exported out of this country it starts r right from there and works its way up in a, in a period in, in, in South African history right now where we're going through a crisis with ESCOM and electricity load shedding that's happening, low productivity in the workplace because of that knock-on effect, the increase in price of fuel that's knocking us as well. To turn around and start saying people that you're looking to expect to pay three to four times more for your food than you were last season is th the harsh reality mm -hmm. of it. So these pollinators are working hard to try and understand how this can be controlled and how this can be put into place and how it can be best managed. We, we look at it from the perspective of, I don't think there is going to be some scientist or some, uh, not scientist, entomologist sitting in some university in South Africa that's suddenly going to go, hang on, I've got an answer for this. Because the, 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 the whole thing around American fowl brood as a spore is it can lay dormant for 40 to 50 years and then suddenly act up again. So we're looking at management to get it down to the magic number that we as beekeepers always look at is 18.7. Anything above 18.7, your business is not mm -hmm. doing business. So if we can get it down to 10, 15%, and my belief is by coming and standing out of the epicenter of the diseased area and continually pushing in fresh bees, we should see those numbers decline. Mm 